Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks here at IFA 2014 and this video is powered by Asus and Mercedes-Benz. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the Lenovo Helix 2. If you are a fan of mobile computing and productivity, this is definitely a device to check out. So I'm a big fan of the ThinkPad lineup. I have had uh, several in the past, the X240 being my all-time favorite, a little way back playback, but it has evolved since then. This is an 11.6 inch device that separates off. So this is an 11.6 inch tablet, full HD display, uh, everything that you know and love from like the rugged ThinkPad design. So we have the two speakers down in here. We have the docking mechanism throughout the bottom that's into here and a dock that we're going to get to later. Uh, there's a mini HDMI there. And I'm going to pull this off and it's going to be a USB. Now I'm going to take the time to show that to you because it's like that's like the US, like the like non how like it's a really cool USB slot. I don't know why I think that's so neat, but it's kind of different than your average. Uh, as micro SD card slot and SIM card slot, which is great if you really want to keep connected. Then they all have external flaps to keep everything nice and dust proof. There's a headphone jack there, a uh, volume rocker. Uh, we have a camera up here that's eight megapixel, yeah. Yeah, eight megapixel shooter. Uh, and on the front we have a two. two. All right, so good enough for all of your Skype calling needs. So this is running Windows 8.1, full HD display, everything that we kind of expect to see from this. And it's Core M, which is uh, rather new uh, on the market, just this show. Now if I want to kind of get my mobile media enjoyment on from this angle, you can kind of use it in a, a uh, multimedia kind of desktop mode. Now you can also flip it around, and then it can be in a lovely tent mode. Uh, and I'm a Yoga 2 Pro user, so I do find that I don't use tent mode so much just because I'm a little bit worried that my device will fall over because that's just I'm accident prone. But I find this multimedia mode is really rather useful. Now, let's just use this release button on the side here. So there it is. Very rugged and very durable. Click this back in. And then let's take a look at what makes this so exciting for me. It's the Lenovo keyboard. Now, when you look at devices that are 11.6 inch, you want to know that you can be productive. And there's not many tablet keyboard combinations that I, can, I feel really confident in recommending for productivity. But you can't beat the ThinkPad keyboard, uh, the keys. I mean, like, look at these. They have this, like, little U shape in there to caress your fingers into typing in the correct position. <laughs> and then there's, of course, the ThinkPad. I think we're still calling this the nipple. I'm not sure if there's a different term for that, but I never really... Oh, it's the... What is it? Track point, sorry. <laughs> Always makes me giggle. Anyway, so if you are one of these users, you can click up here at the top, and then there's also this traditional kind of um, trackpad down here at the bottom. Now, when I was a ThinkPad user, I did go between the two. So this is um, just a really great device. We're going to close this up so you can kind of see the profile. How heavy is this? 800 gram, 1.7 with that battery. Oh, 1.7. I mean, like, that, that's pretty good for considering that you get four hours out of the bottom and then eight hours from the top. So, like, 1.7 is... is I mean, it feels like we're going to do some work with this. Now, for all of you pen freaks here, there's a Wacom pen on the side. Uh, now, this is something that I, did, I tend to get a lot of questions about because when you love your digitizers, you really love your digitizer. So let's just take this off here. Let's not break the machine. Yes, we're not. We're not. Oh, you can rip it off. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So you just ripped it off. It's a. It's like a flexible plastic, which is nice. So it comes with this pen. Now I know that you guys are going to be like, but Nicole, you didn't use the pen. I wanted to see how far it was to hover. So you can see that they, there's the little little ball little egg that, that shows you that it's recognizing the pen. Uh, this looks like it's giving you a fair amount of um, distance between that. Like at least it, look, it looks like over a centimeter. And if you're a, like this, this is important for palm rejection, right? And all, all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always kind of interesting to see how well the pen work in Wacom is one of those pens that is just always killing it. Now we're just going to move quickly over to this bad boy because this is, this is the five and the five and one, right? So we have like the tent, the multimedia mode, the tablet, and then this can go in here. Yes, there we go. For a docking station. So if this is a like desktop, 
I mean, it's not a desktop, but I mean, it's trying to be a desktop, basically, is what's going on here. So, because at the back, boom, everything that you want. There's USB ports, Ethernet, that's the power over there. HDMI, it's USB 3. So you can, you can actually connect monitors over USB 3 now as well, but you have a full-size HDMI port to hook your monitor into and then Ethernet to give you kind of everything that you'd want for, you know, really fast internet. Um, when you have this in a desktop scenario, this would end up being your secondary monitor. Then you'd attach a keyboard off of it and then you would just do it, right? So, I mean, it's, um, it's kind of got like your entire mobile and home life all in one, which is nice because I recently moved on to a desktop and it's a pain in the butt having to drag all your files around and then install something to your away and then you can go get your files. So I mean, it's just really nice to have a all-in-one device and Core M is powerful enough and low profile enough in terms of power consumption that you'll be satisfied with how long you'll be able to work on the road with this. So I'm a big fan of 11.6 inches in terms of devices. So I'm pretty excited when I get a review unit of the Helix <laughs> 2. Nicole Scott here from Mobile Geeks. <laughs>